Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. Only match I didn't mention in the opening segment, Bobby Lashley beat Slapjack three minutes and 50 seconds. So for those of you paying attention, Lashley submitted T-Bar on Monday. Follow-up was Bobby Lashley submitting Slapjack on Sunday. Two wins for the Hurt Business, zero wins for Retribution. So this does remind me very much of the Hurt Business versus Ricochet, Cedric, and Apollo Crews. We may have three months of Retribution getting beat up every single solitary week by the Hurt Business. I guess we'll find out tonight. Yesterday I did a poll for our members-only show following the pay-per-view, and 45% did not like the pay-per-view. 15% did like the pay-per-view, and 39% were indifferent to the pay-per-view. I I, I don't know how you could be indifferent to the show that I watched last (laughs) night. I had a lot of very passionate thoughts about that show. But those are the polls from last night. Mike, what did you think of this Hell in a Cell pay-per-view? I I thought overall it was a good show. I I thought all three Hell in a Cell matches for... Any complaints about them going too long I thought were really well done, and I didn't think that they, much like oftentimes happens with WWE matches where the performances are really good, but the ending is something that leaves a lot to be desired. Now, you can debate whether or not Randy Orton should have won the title last night, but I thought the matches were really well done, and I thought the stories they told were good, and how they finished I thought were good, so... I can't complain about that stuff. Now, the Hurt Business, Bobby Lashley making Retribution look like geeks, doing his own comeback last night. Uh, Elias insulting Jeff Jarrett before the show got off the air and wrestling Jeff Hardy in a feud where we're just going to have to hear Jeff Hardy's a junkie over and over and over again. That stuff wasn't prime time for me, you know, so that was the forgettable stuff on the show. But uh as far as the big stuff goes i'm good with it and i don't know where they're going to go with randy orton uh ultimately with him in the title if it's waiting for edge to get back or if it's just waiting for he and drew mcintyre to have a match where there's going to be more people in the building so drew can kind of get a a bigger crowning achievement I, i don't know but i have a feeling these two are still going to probably interact at some point whereas the other feuds uh, i think are done and gone although it'll be interesting to see how it works with the uso cousin being exiled away from the family. All right, if you want to give us your thoughts on the pay-per-view, we're going to open up with the text messages. It may go to the phone calls a little bit later on. 425-780-7566. That's the number. You can also send me an email, brian at wrestlingobserver.com, at Brian Alvarez on Twitter, at Sempervivi on Twitter. Two other news notes, and then we'll get going. By the way, a couple of weeks ago on the Lance Storm show on Friday... Lance did something we call the teachable moment. We explained the psychology of a of a match, and everyone loved it, learning about the intricacies of pro wrestling psychology. So I have been alerted that this coming Friday on the Lance Storm Show, he will have another teachable moment involving the Sasha Bailey match. Mm. And I hope he knows what he's in for. Don't you dare say anything negative about Sasha Banks or Bailey unless you're prepared for the blowback on the internet. I got it yesterday. But you know what? I don't care. Wait, why did you get it yesterday? I thought you Well, because uh, I didn't that think match. that the Sasha Bailey match was a five star match. Brian. I criticized it and thus I am in the crosshairs. Hey, we've all been That's there. That's what happens. Yeah. Look, if we it was an excellent match. I give it four stars. And you have people yelling at you, the hive comes out, bzz, they, they go and attack you. But you know what? If anybody can stand up to that and has the natural antidote to all of that stuff, Lance Storm will not be under, will not be deterred. I mean, come on. Like I, I get I get accused of being biased, yet these fans, you're not allowed to say anything negative. Nothing. Nope. Zero negative about Sasha Banks or you're in for it. Queen. <laughs> 